Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. What our organization is creating is a sustainable path to fulfilled living and world change. The way that we are doing that is through open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and blueprints for every aspect of the human experience. This includes food, energy, housing, social architecture and recreational models, for-profit and non-profit highest good business models, an open source and free shared education program, as well as uh, comprehensive earth stewardship models. Our ultimate expression of putting all of these things together, and we're addressing them together because we see them as interrelated and interdependent. The ultimate expression of putting these things together is complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world. As I said, they're open source, they're free shared, and they're adaptable to people's individual needs and wants so that these teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities will become self-replicating, spreading around the world and teaching others how to also build open source and free shared teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities so they can evolve in a diversity of different directions and allow human ingenuity to do exactly what it does best, which is to create and to create beautifully. So we're here to provide the foundation and to build the first template, the prototype, which we call One Community. And this is our weekly update blog. Each one of these blogs is standalone, so if you follow our blogs regularly, I repeat myself a lot because I don't know that everybody's going to watch all of these blogs, and we want people to get a good understanding of what it is that we're creating. So that those that want to participate can, so the people that want to join can, for those people that want to volunteer their time, because we are all, every member of our team is an unpaid volunteer uh, doing this because we know that it needs to happen and that world change starts somewhere and it's, we're not waiting for somebody else to do it for us. We are being the change that we want to see in the world and uh, getting it done. So this is our weekly progress update number 41 covering our progress for and our team's progress for the week of December 2nd, 2013. As always, if you're somebody that would like to see pictures, if you're somebody that would like the links, if you're somebody that would like all the information, the details that I'm just going to talk about here, go to our website, onecommunityglobal.org, and click on our blog. Link to the blog is at the top of the site there, and you can see our weekly progress updates for every week that we've been doing them. There's a lot more than 41. We've only been doing video blogs for 41 uh, updates, and you can just scroll through and see everything that we've accomplished in the last week, including pictures and links to all the open source content, tools, tutorials, resources, everything we're talking about is there on the website. So with that said, without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh, and the format's always the same. I'm going to go through an update. I'm going to go through an overview, a bullet point overview, so people can get the, the, uh, just the, the highlights of everything that we're doing. And then what I'll do is I'll come back to that list, and I'll go through each item point by point, talk about a little bit more detail what's going on. And then I usually like to finish up with uh, just talking about our theme, which today is, you know, fulfilled living and world change. Or maybe I'll put it somewhere in the middle. So without further ado, uh, what we've accomplished in the last week, the open source and free shared math page is complete, and you can now see that up on the website. It is the culmination of a ridiculous amount of work and really beautiful. Uh, we've started the redesign of the complete education open source portal. Talk about a little bit more about that in a second. We're 30% done with the image research for the social sciences subject, which is like the math subject. Uh, we have um, redesigned, we've completely redesigned the highest good society open source portal which I will definitely talk about what that means in a second, which is uh, all the whole page has been redesigned. All the pages associated with it have been updated uh, for simpler access, and then we've also redesigned all the menus. We did the same thing for the Earthbag Village portal. It's very cool. Uh, the food Forest Plants, we've added another 22 plants to the Food Forest, the open source and free shared Food Forest page, which now brings our total plants researched and added to the website to over 400 plants exotic and unique plants from around the world that we have researched and uh, and put all the details on the website. Also on food infrastructure, we have completed the hardware pricing for the inside of the large-scale aquapini. Aquaponics combined with a wallapini design for in-ground growing of food year-round in a tropical environment, indoor tropical environment. And we finished all of our um, infrastructure hardware pricing behind the scenes. Got to get that up on the website. Uh, the food infrastructure foundational layout is now in 3D, 
which is very cool. Uh, we have the large scale Aquapini basics in 3D, but now we have the bigger picture of what that is, and there's pictures included on the written blog. Uh, we've also, uh, along with all the infrastructure stuff, we have begun adding metric, the metric system, metric uh, numbers to our entire website. So right now it's all in feet and inches, and unless you're in one of the countries, one of the three countries in the world that uses feet and inches and miles, and uh, all the crazy stuff that us Americans use, then uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense to you. And so we got some great feedback that, hey, you should add metric. And we totally agree. It's definitely on board with our highest good philosophy. And so we've done, I would say we're probably about 30% done with updating the website. So now it has feet and inches as well as metric on the site. And uh, that's pretty cool. So on the Earthbag Village, I mentioned the portal has been completely redesigned. It has new menus. Now if you go to the portal, you can see all the pages. We've created all the breakout pages for everything that will be there, as well as updating all the pages of all the ridiculous uh, detailed content that we already have on there. So that's done. And um, we're finished with the Earthbag Village 3D landscaping in SketchUp. So you can actually see the landscaping for the whole central hub circle is now done for that 3D village. Um, looking very, very good. And we now have 5D available, which means that you can actually go, you can click and walk through the village thanks to our partners, our newest partners. Uh, you can take a look at that and, and visit their website and see a whole bunch of other models that you can walk through as well. But there's now a link, and if you go to the blog, you can click on that link, download the necessary free software that you would need, and you can actually walk through the Earthbag Village and check it out and see and kind of cruise around there. It's not the most updated version. We're going to do a more updated version here once we finish Tropical Atrium, but we now have 5D available. And then we also have a Sago Center duplicable city hub, so duplicable city center and recreation space, as well as group dining and laundry for 300 people. Uh, updated in 3D now, we have laundry room walls have been finished, all the rest of the laundry room doors are done. Uh, we've added a fireplace to the social dome, and we finished these staircases that go from the ground floor up to the third floor. And so staircases and railings and all that stuff is done. Thanks to the amazing work of Devin Porter and Carl Harris uh, working on those two things. So that's our update for this week. Let's talk a little bit more about the details of what it is. Um, where to start? First off, you know, we're, the reason why we're tackling all these things simultaneously. I mentioned that you know it's all about creating a sustainable path to fulfilled living and world change. In our opinion, we think that world change and sustainable living, or sorry, and fulfilled living and sustainable living, they have to go hand in hand. If people aren't living fulfilled, then how is it sustainable? And if it's not positively impacting the world, like I think that's, I personally think, and I think our team agrees with this, that the status quo is not good enough, it's not specifically positively creating world change, then it's probably not sustainable either. So our goal is to create the tools, tutorials, blueprints, resources, everything that people need to do that, and to create it in such a way that people that don't agree with us, people that don't want to do world change, that just want to create a better life for themselves, can. So people that just want to live fulfilled. And by putting these two things together, because the model that we're creating is sustainable, because it gives more to its local and global environment than it takes, then even if people just choose to create what it is that we are doing for their own personal reasons, just for the fulfilled living components, just to reduce their power bills, just to improve the quality of their food, just because they believe in, in uh, quality air and water to drink, or maybe because they just want a better education for their kids or even for themselves using our open source and free shared education model. Or maybe they just want a more interesting and fun social experience using the social architecture. All of those details, any one of those elements applied because they're all created for the highest good of all, for the highest good of all of humanity, for the highest good of all of life. Our idea is that if we make those things easy enough, if we make them affordable enough, and then we demonstrate them as individually beneficial enough and they will spread on their own. And every element of what we create that gets duplicated around the world, in whatever way it's duplicated, in whatever way it's used, because it gives more than it takes, because it's created with positive intent, and because a lot of thought has gone into exactly how to create these things so that they're really, really beneficial to people, the planet, the economy, to individuals in local communities as well as the global community. 
because all the thought has gone into making sure that these things are truly created with integrity, then every time somebody implements what it is that we're doing, every time somebody takes what it is that we're creating and shares it or implements it in their life, then that's a step in the right direction. And if people take the entire package and build what it is that we're creating with one community, which is a complete teacher demonstration community, village, or city, a city that eliminates the need for a regular job, a city where the lifestyle, the very lifestyle that people are living, the fulfilled living expression, individually expressed by the people there, co-created by the people that come together to build these sustainable villages, communities, and cities, by creating that whole thing, they create a new lifestyle for themselves and they demonstrate as a teacher demonstration community, to, as a demonstration hub, as a teacher demonstration hub that will then invite other people to visit and experience it, that will work in collaboration and cooperation with one community and other amazing transformational projects around the world. But specifically, if they're using our blueprints, tools, tutorials, and resources, our goal is to continually, as an ongoing effort, make them better, to improve them and to work in cooperation and collaboration with a global cooperative of teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities working together to make them better and sharing everything that we do with others so that they too can take those free shared blueprints and go and create their own version of that. And so the people that do it together with us, the people that want to join the highest good for all movement, this concept of world change for the highest good of all life on this planet, we're here to work with those people and help to make it happen as quickly as possible. Because our goal is the total and complete, positive and permanent transformation of our planet to something that works for everybody. You wanna create a world where 40,000 people aren't starving to death every single day. We wanna create a world where 100 million people aren't living without a home. We want to create a world where a third of the population had no longer is without power. And I'm not even sure what the percentage is for people that don't have access to the internet, which is an open book, which is an open network to infinite knowledge. And so our goal is by putting all these things together in one complete package that provides a way of living that most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now and sharing that so that people can experience it, so they can come and visit it, so they can come and visit it for a weekend. And just go, wow, this is pretty cool. Great, you should build this. You should create this by making that easy enough, affordable enough, accessible enough, and attractive enough that this model will spread across the world and teach more and more people and take the tools, tutorials, and resources where they're needed most because it makes sense to invest in what it is that we're doing. And we want to bring the cost down as much as we can. So... As part of that, we're addressing the very foundations of the, the things that are most expensive, that are ongoing expenses to people to create a sustainable lifestyle that brings people's living experience expenses down and creates a foundation for a revenue stream that replaces traditional jobs and creates an environment that is more enriching and provides more fun and more activities within walking distance and for free for everybody that's in that environment to participate in. And so the first thing that I want to talk about is our open source education plan, right? Most people spend quite a lot of money on an education. And so we would like to demonstrate a community-based model that can be implemented in a traditional schooling environment. It can be implemented in a community-based environment. It can be implemented in a homeschooling environment. And it can just be implemented in an environment with anybody that would like to bring a new level of fun to their education experience with their children. And we call it the Education for Life program, or Highest Good Education. We call it Highest Good because it's free shared, it's open source, it's adaptable, it's not ideological, so it can be applied by anybody, regardless of their beliefs or their religion or their political leanings, all that stuff. It's designed in such a way that people can take what they want and use it and discard the other parts that they, that they don't want. And so the big piece, the big piece of this that we've completed in this last week is the math page, which is, we call it the math molecule because we think of it as a 3D expression of the complete subject of math from preschool all the way up through college, addressing the higher level math 
founded um, jobs and different professions, including engineering and quantum mechanics and those kinds of things, covering everything from the basics of learning how to count up to all of those and expressed on one page. And if you go to the page and you check it out, onecommunityglobal.org forward slash math, you can see what it is that we're doing. And we're doing this for every single subject. And this works with the complete Education for Life program. Last week, we completed the first complete lesson plan. So it's a whole week of a lesson plan based on a theme that covers every subject and addresses every learning level so that it can be used with any kid in any home right now. We haven't even shared this online yet. So we need to blast both of those out through social media. But uh, you can check them out right now. They are done. Go ahead and take a look at them. Very, very cool to finish that up. And so in doing that, we finished the math page now as part of this. And the reason why we haven't shared it yet is because we are also redesigning the complete education open source portal. And we're so excited about what it is that we've completed with the math molecule and that math page and the first lesson plan that we want to start sharing those with the redesign of the education portal too so that when people start going to these pages they can access all of the different pages that we're doing and we're going to put a big push out there for people who want to join us in creating this open source and free shared program um, because the amount of work that it's taking to do it is it's the culmination of thousands of hours of work by uh, man a broad diversity of people I mean it's probably I know the people that have been contributing to this education program is probably about 20 different people that have worked on it in different capacities, you know, but several of us that have been working on it really, you know, every single week we meet and talk about this. And so we're redesigning the complete education portal so that it looks like the social architecture portal that's now redesigned, the Earth Bank Village portal, which is now redesigned. And, um, and, we're gonna re and we're redesigning all of the open source portals to look like this, which has easy icon access to all of the key pages and then menus that access all the key pages and they're all interlinked and all interrelated so that when you start to dip into the Education for Life program and you look at the strategies of being, for instance, you have easy access then to the curriculum. And when you're in the curriculum, you have easy access to the uh, strategies of teaching. When you're in strategies of teaching, you have easy access to the uh, great learning tools and teaching tools sections, et cetera, and all the lesson plans. And so we're building out all that infrastructure behind the scenes right now, but the math page is done, and that first lesson plan is also done, and they are awesome. So uh, also now behind the scenes as we're doing that, we've got 30% of the image research done for the social sciences subject. And so it's, uh, I think it's 180 images are necessary for each one of the subjects. And so to do that research is an immense amount of time and effort. And then to find images that really work, capture the essence of what it is that we're creating, and then we link those images to all the bullet points of what the related content and uh, lessons that would go along with those images, it's an immense amount of work. So we're 30% done with the image research, and then we're starting now to work on our second lesson plan. So, and hopefully these are going to get a lot faster because the first lesson plan took us weeks, but a lot of it was figuring out exactly what that format of that lesson plan is going to look like, what the mind maps are going to be for expressing that in uh, picture form, and then how that's all going to tie down below with all the different colors and everything else. And so, um, yeah, we're moving on. Now lesson plan number two, and we've got some 30, I think it's 32 different lesson plans that are outlined, and that's part of this whole um, open source uh, portal redesign as well, is listing all the lesson plans that are coming in a place in an easy uh, easy to access form and format so that people can click on them and they can just scroll right through all the different lesson plans and open those up. And so all that stuff is coming. So also along with this and related to all of this is we redesigned the Highest Good Society open source portal. So and education, the Education for Life program and Highest Good Education is part of the Highest Good Society uh, aspect also with that is highest good business, highest good for-profit, non-profit business, plus highest good entrepreneurial models, and we're open sourcing all that. We've already open sourced everything that we filed for our non-profit organization, so if people would like to go and access all of our documents, everything that we filed for our non-profit, you can see all that stuff is on there, and you can duplicate that. It's a couple thousand dollars of investment, hundreds of hours of work. We put all that stuff up on the website, this is what we're doing. Open source and free sharing, everything that we do so that's duplicable. So if somebody wants to start a nonprofit organization like One Community, we want to make that as easy as possible. And sharing exactly what it is that we did is, a, is the way that we see it as the easiest way to really contribute that and get people started. And if you want to see that, go to onecommunityglobal.org, 
highest good business. And you can see that, click on nonprofit, and that's our nonprofit portal, it has all those details on it. So, and to access that, you can also access that through the highest good society portal. So if you go to our website, forward slash highest good society, you'll see that now that whole page has been redesigned to explain exactly what highest good society is, which is a, a social architecture and a complete society built and purposed for the evolution of our species, for the forward movement of humanity in a way that is sustainable, in a way that benefits everybody, in a way that is good for the planet, good for people, good for the economy, and intentional in the way that we live. You're really thinking about everything that we do and creating an environment that makes it easier for people to be intentional in the way that they live because they're not struggling, because they're living a life of celebration, they're living a life of joy, they're living a life of contribution, they're living a life that most people, uh, like I said, would consider to be superior to the way they're living right now. It sets them free to really then share that gift, that complete gift of a life of meaning and joy and happiness and cooperation and collaboration where the idea of competing with each other is a memory. And instead, everybody's working together to create something really beautiful because nobody's struggling. Because we have what we need and from that place we can give. And this is where we're already at. This is why everybody on our team is a volunteer. We're all 100% unpaid volunteers because we're in a place and we've brought together the people that have the time and the energy and the desire to want to really make a difference in the world. And so we're donating and contributing our time to this amazing world-changing project because we know that once we create the blueprints, once we establish those foundations and show people what's possible and make it easy enough, make it affordable enough, this model will spread. It benefits us, it benefits our kids, our kids' kids, benefits everybody on this planet, and that feels awesome. And so as part of that, we've redesigned all of the Highest Good Society open source portal, which talks about all the elements of Highest Good Society. So there's a whole page about fulfilled living. There's a whole page about the uh, social architecture and how that whole social architecture runs, how you create an environment where nobody has to work a traditional job, and it provides this hugely enriching um, environment of constant personal growth and activities, recreational activities that people would want to participate in that's all funded and organized by, well, it's not really funded because no money is necessary to keep it running because it's all just a donation of time and energy by people within the environment. And then that environment is shared with the public who would then pay to participate in that environment. And so that creates the revenue stream to keep the whole thing up and running. And this is exactly what one community is working to build. Once we're funded and we move on to the property, we will never have need funding again, and we will become a profitable enough revenue stream that we will then be able to fund, we will be able to expand indefinitely and help to fund additional and support additional projects in getting themselves up off the ground and building more and more teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities around the world. And so the Highest Good Society model talks about the community contribution, or the Highest Good Society page now has simple links to the... Um, the community contribution model that keeps all that running, the fulfilled living page that talks about exactly what that would look like, our expression of what that would look like, and other people could do it differently, but how to set the whole thing up, as well as how to run, uh, how to run the community contribution to 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 keep that social architecture going, as well talks about you know the efficiency of it and how it all works, a day in the life, what that's all about, um, links to all of those details, and then the business and all that too. So um, yeah. On the food department, I talked about how we've got another 22 plants are now added to the food forest page. You know, so a couple weeks ago we finally finished, we finally finished all of the indoor food infrastructure. So it's everything that we're going to grow indoors. So in the aquapini and the wallapini structures, uh, those food production structures, which uh, demonstrate six different internal growing environments all as part of our open source botanical garden model, which teaches people, and this is all part of the stewardship model. They're a stewardship, not just how to take care of their environment, but how to create food forests, create thriving environments, outdoor and internal environments that really promote food diversity and plant diversity and um, food stability. And so we've researched at this point, well, we've researched over 600 plants. We've posted uh, over 400 plants up on the website with complete details. So that includes the um, descriptions and pictures of all the different plants, that includes uh, the planting guidelines for all the plants, 
the placement guidelines for all the plants, cultural considerations for all the plants, and then links to additional information if you want it as well. And then with that, oh man, I almost forgot. And with that, we've also, we're now creating a plant application that is going to be a global collaborative open source uh, database of all the information on all these plants, including everything from, and we have a video for this discussing all this. So if you want to see the video just about what I'm talking about here and actually showing how it's all connected and where it's going, uh, go to the blog and you can see all this stuff. You can actually watch this a 20 minute blog there uh, where Guy Fraser is talking about exactly how this is being designed and what we're looking at, taking all the information that we've done as well as all the information from the USDA and a bunch of these other databases bringing it together into a globally accessible database where people can go in there and get the information that they want and also add to it. So it's like a Wikipedia, only way, way more detailed because it's going into um, recipes and it's going into the chemical compositions of all these different plants. It's going into all the planting guidelines and if anything goes wrong and all this different stuff. All of this in a way that people can contribute to, all open source, all free shared, and bringing together these databases that currently um, aren't all in one place, as well as all the work that we've done. And so that goes along with the food forest, because it's, but it also goes along with our complete food infrastructure, and it's really uh, something that we've been talking about for a long, long time, and Guy Fraser has come on the team, and he's starting to work with our botanist, Michael Martin, and um, between the two of them, they're starting to put this thing together. Michael Martin's knowledge of plants as well, and access to databases, as well as Guy's knowledge of program design and how to put all this stuff together and so um, it's super exciting and super cool I really recommend check out the video go to the blog you can watch the video and all the details on that and see that if you go back to last week's blog you can see some screenshots and stuff as well talking about uh, what it is that we're creating how that's all going to come together so also we talked about uh, we finished the food infrastructure hardware pricing for large-scale aquapini. So that's everything that we need for the insides of that. It's done behind the scenes. We still need to get that up on the website, but we'll get that up this week. So now that's done. And then we'll also price out. Next step, we'll be pricing out the Zen aquapinis as well. And then the wallapinis don't really have any internal structure. And then we're working on, as I've talked about for a few weeks, we're working on the roof. There's a little bit of a roof redesign coming. And then we'll get all the materials. We've been pricing out materials, but we're fluctuating. And, you know, it's just it's months of research on exactly what the best way to build this is. That's kind of come full circle. And so once we've, we've solidified that, then we're going to start also releasing all of those details. So not just the hardware pricing, but then the complete update of all the details, the, the build pricing, everything that's going to take to build these structures, um, all those details, complete cost analysis, where to buy all those things um, as well. So that's coming along. Um, and I talked about we've got the Food Infrastructure Foundational layout is now in 3D, so if you want to see that, go to the blog, you can take a look and you can see some pictures, some exports of what it looks like, the hand drawings, thanks to architect Douglas Stenhouse who did these amazing hand drawings, and now it's starting to be put into 3D, and so you can see it all coming to life. And once we have the full 3D done, you'll be able to walk around those environments and the 5D that I was talking about, you'll be able to... Um, download those SketchUp files and modify them if you want. Everything that we're doing is being open sourced and free shared, including once it's done, all of the building plans. So you'll have complete building plans that you'll be able to take into a county and say, hey, this is what we want to build. And our whole process of working with the county, we're going to open source and free share that too. You know, so the idea is every step of the way that we're doing right now, and you can see through all the stuff that we're accomplishing, how we're open source and free sharing it. And as we complete pieces like all the food details that I talked about, those things go up on the website and they're usable. As we complete late pieces like the education pieces that I talked about, we put it up there and it can be used right now. And so there's huge amounts of data that's done. And this is part of our redesign as well of the website now, is we're finishing up these amazing, um, these amazing portals, these amazing um, resource databases so that people can go there and they can click on it and everything that's done is easily accessible and then everything that we're still working on is listed like, hey, this is what's coming and if you'd like to help, here's how to plug in and assist us. And so we're bringing more and more people into the fold to complete this stuff faster and faster and more and more comprehensively and sharing every step of the way as open source content. So, which we've had somebody say, oh, you know, you're just a I, like where I want to see pictures, I want to see videos. To go to the website, that's where all this stuff is at. This, this blog is just an overview. You know, If you want to see the details, go to the website, click on the links, and see everything that we're accomplished. That's where the open source content is. You know, And then when we're done with the 3D videos and things like that, we'll create videos of all that stuff. And then when we start building it, 
We'll have tools, tutorials. We'll have all kinds of multimedia resources discussing exactly how to build the aquaponic structure and everything that we run into and then long-term maintenance of that, where to buy all your materials and all the details and then time-lapse photography showing it all expanding. This is what we're all about. Ultimately, growing to an organization of 2,000 people working on this kind of stuff, collaborating and working on this kind of stuff together for the highest good of all of humanity. That's what we're up to. So, um, yeah, the Food Infrastructure Foundational Layout is now in 3D, and we're starting to move forward on that. We're starting to add in staircases and things like that, so we'll keep going. I mentioned that we've added metric to the, um, to the website, so we're in the process of, of adding in metric measurements for everything, too, because people that aren't used to working with feet and yards and miles don't know what that is, so we want to put in the meters and kilometers and all that stuff so that we really speak to the international uh, environment as well, not just our own environment. Um, also, I said the Earthbag Village portal has been redesigned, so if you want to see what these portals look like, that's where you really want to go. The Earthbag Village is a great example of where we've done some huge amounts of work, like the materials, uh, huge amounts of work, time projections have been done, the design pages uh, that have been done. We have an open source shower head page that's 40 hours of research on water conservation or water conserving shower heads, low volume shower heads and everything that we found uh, after, like I said, 40 hours of research, just identifying what the best ones are. And then on the property, we'll test out 12 of them. So we show the 12 that we picked, for instance, on there. And you can see all that stuff. If you go to the Earthbag Village uh, page, or if you just Google one community and shower heads, you know, Google one community and anything that I'm talking about, and it'll come up really, really easily. So um, yeah, the Earthbag Village portal redesign is a great example of uh, what that's exactly what all the portals are going to look like and part of this redesign when you go to that portal you'll see that um, there's icons that link to all of the different pages and then when you go to those pages the icon is on that page that will show you when you just scroll you can scan that page super fast and that icon will show you how it applies to global transformation and then you'll see these purple gears and wherever you see a purple gear is a how this works so it's like hey this is the meat and potatoes of this page so a lot of our pages are huge because they contain, they just, it's just so much content. And so everything that we've learned and everything that we're doing and putting it out there in such a way that if people have questions, every question we get, we answer on the website. So you can imagine how big the website has gotten, whereas right now I think we're getting somewhere around 15,000 unique visitors to our website a month. And anybody who sends us a question, if it's not already answered on the website, we integrate it in there. So it's a constant improvement process. Well, these purple icons now allow you to scroll through the website really quickly on the pages where we've redesigned the portals and see the information that you're looking for. Like, oh, there's how this works. And so people don't have to read it. And then if they're like, oh, I still don't understand, read the whole page. So the Earthbag Village portal is done. I also mentioned that Earthbag Village 3D landscaping is now done. So we've got pictures of all that landscaping put in. Last week, we were mostly done with it. We finished it up this week. And so it's exciting to share all that. And uh, now we'll be working on the hands. We've been working on it, still trying to get the hands inside the tropical atrium put in. And then once those are done, that will finish the whole central circle. And then we'll finish the outer circle. And then we're going into 3D design of the plumbing and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, fun. Uh, and then I mentioned also in the Earth Egg Village that we have 5D now available. So if you go to the blog, you can see, you can read about our partners, our 5D partners in this software that's in beta testing right now. But you can download it for free and you can walk around the Earth Egg, Earth Egg Village. And this is pre-landscaping. So we want to wait until we get the tropical atrium done and then we'll update that file. But right now you can just cruise around in there and you can actually walk around the Earth Egg Village. And so we're just waiting on some more details from Philip Gill also who's doing uh, the internal furniture design so that you can actually see what it'll look like inside of these structures. And once he's done with that, you'll actually be able to walk into one of these dome homes and see what it would look like inside, see the bed, see the little closets, see the loft, all that stuff inside one of these dome homes. So it's going to be super cool to be able to do that. But you can walk around the Earthbag Village right now. You just can't go into the tropical atrium yet and uh, you can't... Uh, you can't, like, there's nothing inside any of the structures. If you go into the dome homes and you look around, there's not really anything there, and landscaping's not done, but you can still walk around. Very cool. So, also, uh, we got an update on the Sago Center, which is a duplicable city hub. So, city hub, recreation center, uh, laundry and dining for 300 people, 150 people at a time, two in two shifts of dining. 
uh, and designed to be a, a business also. If somebody wanted to run it as an eco-resort or, or to build a complete village around it, that's what that, that structure is all for. And so we've been working on it for years. Man, we're two years into the process. And so where we're at now with that is we've, in this last week, we finished uh, the laundry room, walls and the doors, all this stuff in 3D. You know, a lot of the years have been design process and updates and redoing it. But now we're getting down to the real um, nitty gritty details of doing it all in 3D and seeing where we've made mistakes, etc. So we've got the laundry room doors done. We've got the laundry room walls done. We added in another door into uh, a door that was necessary for the social dome and then a fireplace in the social dome as well. And uh, the staircases, the railings and everything on the staircases are done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks to the amazing work of Devin Porter and Carl Harris, who have just put in some just awesome work uh, getting all that stuff set up. It looks, it's coming along. Everything is coming along really, really beautifully. So, um, and there's pictures of all this stuff. If you want to see all this, go to the blog. Go to onecommunityglobal.org and just click on the blog where it says it says weekly updates blog right at the top of the site, and you can see everything that we're talking about. All the pictures and then you can click on the links and read about these buildings and the, their purpose and the details and all that as well so that's our update update number 41 what we've accomplished just in the last seven days it's an immense amount of work and uh, I always put out the invite and the number one thing that could help us right now if you want to help one community get to the point where we're actually building and we're sharing videos on site of all this stuff and we're open sourcing exactly how to do an earth bag structure and look at the artistic way that we did this one and how we did this one and you know look at here's all the actual building plans that are that have been stamped you know by the county as working and now you can take this to your county and say hey this has been done over here and the county's willing to work with us on that to work with other counties as well if you want to make all that stuff happen faster if you'd like to see us progress even quicker than we already are, if you'd like to see us doing a blog a day and a whole bunch of other people instead of just me doing these blogs and doing them on site as we're building and things like that, we're looking for that one person that'll fund us, that'll help us purchase the property, get it off the market, allow us to run a crowdfunding campaign, share that location, get the rest of the funding that we need and start building and uh, take this whole project to a whole new level. In the meantime, we're going to keep on doing what we're doing. So, But if you'd like to help us get funded, go to onecommunityglobal.org forward slash funding, and you can check that out and see what it is that we need and what the options are, what we're looking for. And uh, also, if you want to help, we're, arms are open wide. We're looking for people to help with this education program that we're talking about. We're looking for engineers and other architects that want to jump on board. We've got five other village models that we wanted to, that we want to design, and it would be great if we could do that, if uh, if we had people that want to jump on board and start sketching those things out now, or if they want to jump on board and help us finish the nitty gritty super details of everything that we need to do with with the ones that will be built first, you know, which is our number one priority is getting all those shovel ready and everything that we do, we put out as open source content. So if you or somebody that you know know would like to build what we're talking about, join us, build it. You don't have to build it with one community. Let's finish it together so that everybody has access to the information sooner, so that it can all be completed sooner for everyone. And so um, this is my invite. We've got ways to participate for everybody, from the people from membership and the community pioneer team that will be moving to the property and actually doing all this stuff, hands in the dirt, building it all and living out there and creating all this to partners and consultants, which are the people that are just helping on the sidelines, donating their time to satellite pioneers, which are people that are on the team and on our weekly calls and for all intents and purposes, part of the pioneer team, but not planning on moving to the property, either because they just don't want to, they just want to be part of the meat and potatoes of what we're doing, but not interested in moving or because they want to start a one community model somewhere else for themselves. So there's that option. And there's just internet participation. You know, join us on our Facebook group, join us on our Twitter feed, join us all this stuff. You can link to it on our website. It's super easy to find. And um, yeah, get involved or just share, share what it is that we're doing. Tell people about it. Spread the word. You don't know who you know. And we're looking for that one person that that could really make this whole thing happen with the financial backing to take our volunteer team to the whole next level. So and in the meantime, man, we are kicking butt and taking names getting a lot done and so it's exciting to see it moving forward thank you as always for your support 
and uh, all the great emails. That's a cool way. If you just want to support us, send us a loving letter. We love it. We love the messages that we get where people are just like, eh, it's great, or comment on our videos. We respond to every comment that we get. If we don't, comment again. Send us a message, but we uh, we make an effort to respond to every single one, and I, I don't think we, every once in a while, we realize, oh, man, how did we miss that? So, um, yeah, with that said, thanks, as always, for following our project, and um, until next week, keep on keeping on. This is our process creating a sustainable path to fulfill living and world change. You know, by combining those things together, by demonstrating that we can live a more fulfilled life, by building on top of sustainable infrastructure. You don't have to. Everything that we're doing can be implemented in any environment. But if we put the whole package together, we really can create world change. We really can create world change. We can do it because we can demonstrate to people that they can get more of what they want by doing it this way. And our goal, as I've said over and over and over again, is to make it easy enough, to make it affordable enough, and then to demonstrate it as attractive enough so that the mainstream gets on board. So that normal people that aren't thinking about this things, these things with average means, with not with just average knowledge, can come together and duplicate everything that it is that we are creating, and then to work with us to make it even easier to duplicate for others so that more and more people can get on board, creating a new market, a new wave of interest of people that will then inspire others to also get involved, others to also take interest and to become a part of what it is that we're creating. Spreading the whole self-sufficient, self-sustainable teacher demonstration, community village, and city model around the world, making it self-replicating, a solution model that creates additional solution models. That's what we're here to do. And you can read all about the fulfilled living and the world change details on our website. So thanks until next week. Appreciate everybody who follows us and all your support.